This Google Search Console hack guarantees that you get your pages indexed within minutes. And it's nothing to do with your sitemap. In fact, your sitemap most of the time doesn't get all your pages indexed, especially if your domain doesn't have enough authority. And that's why you need this hack. Let's do this. Now, as you probably know, there are plenty of plugins that will submit your sitemap automatically to Google. I use Rank Math on my websites, and I know that Yoast SEO and generally all the SEO plugins do that for you. What you may or may not know is that just submitting your sitemap doesn't guarantee inclusion in Google's index. Even submitting your sitemap manually in Google Search Console doesn't do that for you. The exception being, of course, if your domain has high authority, but most websites, especially the ones that are starting out, don't. So let me show you how to fix this. This is my new blog, which I started a month ago as an experiment. I'll be talking more about this in the future. There are 13 posts on this blog. I'm using Rank Math, as I said, to auto-submit my sitemap, and I also regularly submit the sitemap manually. The domain is only about two months old, however, and it has zero domain authority. So not surprisingly, what I discovered when I dug in is that only about 40% of my content was in Google's index. Here you can see my search console. You'll see that the sitemap was submitted recently and that the number of pages submitted correlates with my 13 posts plus a few pages. But this number has nothing to do with how many pages are in Google's index. It's just about the content on your sitemap. When you submit your sitemap manually and you see that notification submitted successfully, you automatically think that Google will take care of things from there on. But then when you check your keyword ranking tool, you see that you're nowhere in Google, even weeks after you posted the content. A lot of times you may assume that it's because you have no authority, there's too much competition, and well, it takes time to rank, which is true. But a lot of the times it's because your content didn't even get indexed. So it doesn't really have a chance to rank. So this number has nothing to do with content indexed. It's just about the content on your sitemap. And by the way, if you want to know more about building authority on your domain, then check my video somewhere above me. Okay, so here's what we need to do. I'm going to right click on a title and go to copy link address. And in my Google search console, I'm going to go to URL inspection. And I'm going to paste that URL and hit enter. Now, this is going to make Google fetch the URL. And by fetching the URL, it means Google has to crawl the page, which is exactly what we want it to do. Now, you see the green tick mark here. This is telling me that this URL is on Google. So we go back to my blog and go to the next post here. I'm going to right click and copy the URL of the post. And once again, I'm going to paste that URL here. And this time you'll see that the URL is not on Google. Now this post was actually published before the post that I've just checked. So this is actually an older post. And I tell you this to highlight that age in this case doesn't matter. If you don't have enough domain authority, then it seems to be a bit of a hit and miss as to what pages get indexed. So for example, on my blog, I had 13 posts and in no particular order, some were indexed and some weren't. So you have to check each post or each page that you want to rank manually. Now, when you see this URL is not on Google, you'll see a request indexing link. You click on this and this forces Google to crawl that URL. It does take a while, so if you have a lot of posts on your website, remember to make a coffee before you sit down and do this. Okay, now we see an indexed requested notice. Now, sometimes Google crawls the URL straight away and you get that green tick telling you that the URL is now in Google's index. Other times you get this notice telling you that the URL was added to a priority crawl queue. And a subtle reminder there not to keep submitting the URL because that won't make any difference. So at least unlike with the sitemap, we know that this page will get crawled. And if you've been using Google Search Console for a while, then this feature did exist in the previous version, but it was called Google Fetch. Now it's called URL Inspection. Add this cool tip to your SEO arsenal and make sure that every time you post content, you do this. I wouldn't really bother submitting your sitemap manually unless it's a brand new site and you haven't done so yet. Just let your software take care of that while you request a Google crawl. More tips coming up. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.